Hey angels, today we're going to make a no sew clutch. Not just one, but two types of clutch today so you get a twofer type of video. It's so easy, it took me 45 minutes and on the budget for $20 to make two bags. Keep it casual, simple, cute, and sexy. So you're going to need are some fabric. Either go with a half a yard of one fabric or three eighths of a yard of a lining and cover. Ruler, a pair of scissors, and some heat and bond tape. I love this stuff. Or you can actually cut strips with an iron-on sheet of heat and bond, which is a lot cheaper. Aren't you guys getting distracted by these extra cuties? Oh my god, I can't do anything without them. So you're going to need double folded bias tape, something to write with. Um, you can also use magnetic snaps or velcro to close up your clutch. Alright, enough talk, so I suggest you to watch the whole video, but you can also click on either or to watch how I did it. Take your cover fabric and measure out your lining. This is the template on the left side. I determined that I wanted 13 inches for the width, so you can go longer or shorter. And for the length, I start off with 9 and add another 9 to give you a total of 18 inches for the whole body of the clutch. And the flap is 5 inches. Once you're done drawing your blueprint onto your fabric, you're going to add on the heat and bond adhesive sheet. I love this stuff, so it acts like a way to stiffen up your fabric so that you don't have to add more fabric. And the best part, it adheres to other fabrics without the whole long way of overnight drying time. So you're going to peel the backing of it and it looks like a sticker with a clear coating on top of your fabric add your lining which is the same measurement as your fabric cover and as you can see I have two broken pieces because I'm using scrap material so don't follow what I'm doing at all you don't have to do this but just go with the same measurements as the first cover Next, I'm taking my bias tape, make sure it's double folded babes. So you're going to unfold it and add your iron on tape in between. So make sure it's inside the strip. Because you're going to use that as a trimming and concealing your whole clutch bag together. It's like your super glue strips in all in one. So I made sure to cut two strips of bias tape that are 15 inches in length to cover up the width that is 13 inches. So you're going to have two extra inches in your measurements when you're measuring out your tape. And this will cover up the top and bottom portion of your clutch bag because it's going to cover up the trimming. Leave extra bias tape on each side and you want to snip the inner fold. Makes it easier when you fold it in because you want it to look continuous. Another way of saying this, you won't see where the bias tape is going to begin or ends because it will be folded back inside our clutch bag. I did the right corner by folding it in, so now I'm going to repeat and do it on the left side of the bottom width. Add additional adhesive to the bias tape at the side ends and fold it back in. Once you're done with the bottom, just fold it over and iron out any wrinkles. I'm done with the bottom, now let's do the top width portion. Okay, so when I start off with the lining, I had two pieces because I was using scrap material. If you had a solid piece, you don't have to do this, but since I have that opening, I'm going to conceal it with some bias tape. Now that I taped the bottom and top, we're going to actually tape the sides too because you can't put your stuff in if your stuff's going to fall out, right? So I wrapped the adhesive tape at the edge of the right and left side of my clutch bag. So just make sure to wrap it on each length side. Alright, so now you're going to grab your nifty bias tape to cover up the tape that we just add. Make sure to have extra on this side because you're going to fold it inside of the clutch first. You want to conceal it and make the bag look like it's store bought in a way. And you're going to add more tape to conceal it in. So every time there's like an opening, just add tape in. Fold the extra bias tape into your clutch bag flap and iron it and add some more tape into the bias tape because you're going to fold the extra fold that is left over. 
see there's like a gap in the bias tape at the end flap so make sure to add more adhesive than that tape because you want to make sure that we secure everything in place. Begging me, begging me. So we're almost done and you'll be super surprised how much this can hold. As you iron the tape on, it will hold so much stuff. Almost done! So you're going to make sure to repeat the last step to the bottom left corner. And once you're done, you're going to have two options to use as your closure. First, Velcro. You're going to find the center width. I'm applying the rectangular shaped Velcro to the center body of the clutch. Now peeling the top sticker, you're going to flip over the flap. Now you can add your laptop, your makeup, or anything you want. If you're going to add a laptop, make sure to go bigger. Alright, so for the envelope clutch, you're going to measure out on the lining fabric first. I sketch out my measurements, so you're going to follow the left side of the screen for the exact measurements and use it as reference, so it's 12 inches for the width. Start off with 8 inches and add another 8 to give you 16 inches in total length. For the envelope flap, you have 2 inches in space and 8 inches for the triangle flap. Once you sketch out your template onto your lining fabric, just cut it out and now you're going to lay it on top of your cover fabric. So you're going to measure your cover fabric around a half an inch. This is going to be your fold that you're going to fold in. So you need one pair of magnetic snaps. So to do that, you're going to stiffen up the top flap with heat and bond. I started to peel the backing of the adhesive off, but make sure to leave some on because we're going to use it as a way to help hold the magnetic snaps into or well onto the fabric. Now you're going to cut a crosshair mark. I'm using this like nifty like pizza slicer thingy in my jigger. I don't even know what it's called, but insert the bun in and lock it in. Okay, so grab a large sheet of adhesive and lay the tacky sticky side onto the inside of your cover fabric. Iron on, peel off, and you see the shiny film coating. Next, you're going to trim the outline of the measurements that we made. Grab your lining that we just made earlier and place it in the center of your fabric and this is going to be ironed on just the top half. Make sure because on the bottom half, we're going to add the bottom snap. I'm ready to snap. So you're going to fold the body of the clutch bag in half at the 8 inch mark from the body bottom length. This is my lazy like tip for you guys. You're going to mark the butt knob and place it in the center so you can find the center of your body clutch and you're going to know where to insert your button into. So we're going to add some adhesive because it's going to add more structure and anchor your buttons together because you don't want your fabric to like rip apart. I add some rectangular shaped adhesive in the center of the cover inside fabric and lining inside fabric. For the lining inside fabric, you're just going to peel off that adhesive. That's the only one that you need to peel off. Now that we have our adhesive on both sides, but make sure one of them still has that adhesive paper on, make a crosshair cut, and insert your magnetic snap inside and use that backing to keep everything secure and it doesn't fall out too. Okay, in the beginning, I told you to measure out a half an inch all around. The reason why is because we're going to fold it into the lining. This is more of a decorative option, so I'm using the adhesive to apply on, then apply my bias tape on top. 
This helps it like conceal the trimming because this is what you're gonna see when you open your bag. When cutting the bias tape, remember to leave some extra length for leeway just in case you make a mistake. You are going to hate me for this. My kitty decided to turn off the camcorder but make sure to cut that flap off before you iron it on and you're going to iron the top flap because this is going to make it look more finished and when you see it from the outside in. I already add on the adhesive tape to the side length right at the extra half an inch we marked from the fabric lining. Once I'm done with that, I flip the fabric cover facing inside out and all you have to do here is to iron the half an inch flap on the right and left side. Okay, so when you open your clutch bag, you want to make sure that the bag doesn't rip in the beginning. So you're going to wrap tape all around the top portion and make sure to snip some extra side and wrap it around again. This time around, I'm adding the bias tape in the center of the backing of the clutch bag because if you add it to the edge, there's no point and your bag's gonna rip. So you wanna secure it in place and add extra tape so that you can fold it in and complete the whole continuous look. So you're going to wrap the tape on the extra half an inch that's left over and you will know it because it's sticking out and now you're going to wrap it with the bias tape extra. So with this part, you're going to have extra left over on each side. You 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 Why you may be asking? Well, adding extra tape at the ends actually will give extra support when adding items that can stretch out the bag and you really want your bags to be very functional instead of using it as like a portfolio type of clutch bag. Again, I added the adhesive tape to each bias tape ends and I'm going to fold it back into where I started wrapping the bias tape in. By doing this, this gives me assurance that it's sealed on properly for lots of wear and of course styling. So it makes sure that we can hold all our laptops, our Kindles, our Nooks and tablets, so forth, our cell phone, our makeup. Alright, so I'm turning the bag outside in and be sure to get the corners because those are toughy. Um, you want the corners to be pointed out and now you can wear it, carry it out. And the best part, drop it in the washer in cold water and dry it on cool just in case you spill some makeup on it or something. That's the end and make my day by sending me a pic on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram if you decide to make any of these or my past tutorials. I love you guys! Oh.